Have you ever wondered why a bell rings? Or why a ping pong ball pings? Or why a rocket ship flies so high? Or why the moon doesn't just say goodbye? I'll tell you the answer, it's rather easy, but at the same time, kind of cheesy. But by the end of this song, you'll know everything you'll need to know about P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. Yeah, it's P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. Physics is fun, but a lot of work, but we all know work is just force times distance. So does that mean that just by going to class, I've already done half the work? No. So I guess that means that physics class defies P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. Yeah, it's P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. The train was coming through the station, and I said force equals mass times acceleration. And my friends all laughed because they said it was funny. And I said, no, it's not funny. Because it's P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. Yeah, it's P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. My velocity initial was equal to my velocity final. Plus acceleration times time. My acceleration was negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So I guess that means that I was in free fall. I was in free fall. Cause it was one of the three. Mathematical equations. Cause it's P H Y S I C S physics. Yeah, it's P H Y S I C S physics. The other day, my friend came to me in a bewildered state of bereavement. He said he couldn't figure out the difference between distance and displacement. So I said, man up and look me in the eye. Displacement is delta x within an interval of time. And he said, thanks, that makes a lot of sense. And I said, welcome to the wonderful magical world of P-H-Y-S-I-C-S physics. Yeah, it's P P H Y S I C S physics. Everybody, P H Y S I C S physics. P H Y S I C S physics.